Continuing on with our video series on the Alcatel Lucent 7750, we're going into part two of the basic system management. Now I have two Alcatel 7750 routers currently open. We have Alcatel R1 and Alcatel R2. And we saw in the previous set of videos that when we were configuring the candidate config, that it requested that we had a rollback configuration. So I will concentrate on R1 and I will do a rollback and a rescue configuration. The rollback configuration provides the ability for the router to revert back to a previous saved config. This allows the operator, if they've made a mistake, to, to go to a previous point in history. And it has a series of checkpoint IDs that every time you do a save, this allows the router to roll back to these points in the config and, and to actually configure a rollback so if we look at the file directory we can see that we have these configs but we don't actually have any rollback configs so to configure a rollback config what you would do we go to configure system rollback and then we'd say where we want to put the actual rollback so we want to put it on this um, compact flash. So I say rollback location and I'll say CF3 and I will call it just the system rollback. And you see it currently says no checkpoints currently exist at the rollback location. So if we want to actually save our current configuration we would say admin rollback save and then I would say admin save to save the configuration now when we look at the file directory now we can see that we have a rollback configuration and this is denoted with the rb suffix at the end now when we just do a normal admin save this will not automatically place a rollback into the um, file directory. So if you wanted to actually, if you've done some configuration and you actually wanted to save a rollback location, you would have to say admin rollback save. And this will save the, An additional rollback so you see that the the older one is called rb.1 and the newer one is called rb so this one here is the first rollback and this one here is the newest rollback so that's the latest rollback so it goes in reverse location we can also compare the two but i haven't made any differences so so let me make a bit of a change in the config so if i say something like configure system name r1 we've changed it and then we could compare the two configurations so what i would say is if i now do an admin rollback save look in the file directory we have three rollbacks and what i'm going to do i'm going to do a admin rollback and i will compare the the older one, um, yes, the very first one to the latest rollback. And we see that the difference is in number two, we have a name of Alcatel R1, and in the latest one, we have a name of R1. Now, I want to keep the Alcatel R1 system name, so to actually use this rollback, I, I will revert admin roll back revert to number two and I get my original name back and I'll save that this is how to actually configure a rollback on the Alcatel Lucent 7750 and there's usually like 10 by default we can actually change that as well because if like on some other vendors you have like 50 rollbacks that you could have maybe that's a bit too much depending on how much configuration you're doing actually. We can change the number of rollbacks that we have on the system. And the way I would do that, I would say configure system rollback 
And then I would say something like the local maximum checkpoints that I want on this. And you see that you could have between one and 50, I will say 15. This just stops that every time you do a rollback, it rolls off the end of the screen. You've got 10 by default. And if you wanted more than that, it's say if you're saving or doing a lot of configuration over the months, you may want more than that. And then we say admin save. If you like the content that we're pushing out at www.rootercoach.com, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Also, hit that like button. We're aiming for 50 likes on this video, then we'll release more of the Alcatel Lucent content. Now, let's get on with the show. There is also something, there's like a special configuration, and this is called the rescue configuration. And this allows you to have like an ultimate rollback, which isn't just going to, every time you configure a new save, it's not just gonna scroll off the bottom of the screen. When you make a normal rollback, every time a new checkpoint is created, th then this is gonna roll off the end of the screen. The rescue configuration allows like a stable configuration, like the ultimate rollback configuration. If everything goes pear-shaped, then you could always go back to the rescue configuration. And the command is similar, so you would say configure system rollback. But this time, instead of saying rollback location, you'll say, say rescue location and we'll call it cf3 we just call it rescue config and again to save this we'd say admin rollback save and then we put rescue on the end and we do an admin save now when we look in the file directory we can see that we have a new rollback location and it's the rescue config and you see that with this RC on the end and we can look at the the, the config on that we just say file type rescue config and it's a, a default config of what I have on the system. But this one will not scroll off the end of the screen every time I do a admin rollback save. Okay, another thing that we should be looking at on the Alcatel 7750s is the boot option file. We call this the buffer file. Now the 7750 service routers use the boot option file to configure system parameters when the system boots up. So when it powers on, and these are saved on the CF3 compact flashcard. Now, these have the bootloader files, the images which are referenced. This is called TIMOS. And this allows this SROS, the service router operating system, to actually be loaded on the box. Um, and this is obviously needed when you're running services and protocols. Now, now just a little bit of a fact. So we now call it the SROS, which is a service router operating system. But you may see in the file directory, it's called TIMOS. So we see it here called oops, TIMOS. And this is because in 2003, Alcatel bought a company called Timetra. And this went to this went on to become the IP division of Alcatel Lucent, but the newer versions are called SROS. When you're looking at the BOF and all of the parameters that need to be configured, especially if you're using things like SAM, then the, the BOF needs to have the same kind of parameters as the service aware manager, which is the SAM. Um, and these are used for like um, NMS, network management systems and indexing and you could create persistence files but, but I'm waffling on a bit so let's just have a look at the BOF on the actual system here and see what are the current pa parameters that we've got and to look at the boot option file we just say show BOF we can see that the primary Im image is there it's on the compact flash we have duplex full 
we have speed 100 persistence is off uh, and you'll find that the more options that you add onto the buff they, they won't be there by default but when you add them they will appear in the configuration we see that the primary config here it is referencing the cf3 um, the primary image sorry here is referencing the cf3 timos we could also say if this image got corrupted then if you don't have a backup it, it could basically turn your alcatel 7750 into a very expensive brick to configure a secondary location what we're going to say we're just going to go into the buff so we say buff and we could say something like secondary image is on the cf3 i would use the same location it's really just to show you that we have an option of a secondary image if i did have one and as i said earlier there's nothing here there's nothing here saying secondary image i can't see anything saying secondary image over here but as soon as i've configured it now if i say show oh sorry let me come back and if i say show buff now now that we've configured it you see that this syntax is now in the configuration it also references the primary config so this will be the default config that loads onto the box when you initially load your system again we could have a secondary config so if i say buff secondary config and again i will say i will use one of the config files that is on the file in the file directory so if i said config.cfg instead of being just cfg i could say cfg.3 we have a look at the buff now it's referencing the secondary config here we have the secondary image and the secondary config that will be loaded if the primary image and the primary config are, are corrupted we could also add a management ip address to the buff i will just use a random one at the moment so i will say address sorry so i'll say an ip address of 100 dot 9.9.9 slash 24 and as i said earlier if you want some kind of synchronization with sam we um if they lose connection to each other you want them to be able to synchronize so you'll say persistence on and this will create an index file in the file directory and we could also change the console speed you see that the console speed here is 115200 we could change the console speed to the more familiar one of 9600 i don't actually recommend that you do this because a lot of people who are logging on to the alcatel 7750 are expecting to have a console speed of 115200 so if we now do a show buff we can see that persistence is on we've changed the console speed we have a management ip address of 100.9.9.9 slash 24 and we could just save the buff so we save this configuration now and i will show you this file directory for the sam and it will show you well it should have shown us an ndx file maybe not okay let me do that again so show buff persistence is on where's my index file okay so i needed to do an admin save first and after I've done my admin save, I now see that my index file is here. I can now see that it has created my index file for me to synchronize with my service aware manager.